Hi, I'm Jeremy with Polo, and I'd like to introduce you to our DRV8835 Dual Motor Driver Kit for the Raspberry Pi Model B+. The Motor Driver Kit makes it easy to control one or two motors with the Model B+. Here's a setup that shows how the driver will typically be used. It mounts directly onto the Raspberry Pi, from which it receives the signals that it uses to control the motor's speed and direction. This board uses a DRV8835 chip from Texas Instrument, which allows it to supply each motor channel with a little over an amp of current. That makes it a good choice for controlling small, low-powered brush DC motors, like our plastic gear motors here, or our micrometal gear motors. The size of the motor doesn't always correspond with its current draw, so you'll want to check the motor specification to make sure they're appropriate. The power delivered to the motors comes from the motor power supply. For this driver, it should be between 1.5 and 11 volts, and it should be able to supply the current drawn by your motors at that voltage. Here, I'm using a battery holder with four AA nickel metal hydride cells, which provide a nominal voltage of 4.8 volts. The Raspberry Pi itself needs five volts, which is typically supplied through the micro USB power connector. But in some cases, you might not want to do that, and I'll explain an alternative a little later. The motor driver ships as a kit, so you'll get a PCB with some female headers that you'll need to solder yourself on the bottom side of the board. It also comes with some screw terminal blocks, which are convenient for making motor and power connections and those can go on the top of the board. Don't worry about the surface mount components, they'll already be soldered. You can plug in the assembled board into the left side of the Raspberry Pi GPIO header like this. Since it doesn't cover all the GPIO pins on the Model B+, you might be wondering if the motor driver kit would also work with the Model A or the Model B. This isn't the case though. The board uses some pins that are only found on the Model B+, but we didn't make it cover the entire GPIO header in the interest of keeping it as small as possible. Now you can connect your motors and your power supply. You should make sure your power supply is disabled when you are wiring it to your board to avoid inadvertently shorting out your power supply or damaging components by accidentally touching them with a live wire. To help you write a program on the Raspberry Pi to control the motor driver, we created a Python library to make that easier. You can find the library on GitHub along with step-by-step -step instructions for setting it up. You can use the example program included with the library to test your system and drive each motor in both directions. You might notice that I'm powering my Raspberry Pi through this USB cable, and that might be fine in a stationary project, but it really isn't ideal in a robot that I'll be driving around. There are other ways to power a system like this. The board makes it easy to connect the voltage regulator here, which allows it to generate 5 volts from your motor supply to power your Raspberry Pi. Our S7V7F5 switching regulator works well for this, since it has almost the same input voltage range as the drv 835 this lets you easily put together a setup that can be powered from a single battery pack. You also have the option of connecting the two motor channels in parallel to give you a single motor channel that can handle double the current. I hope this demonstration of the Pololu DRV A835 dual motor driver kit has shown you how it can be used and maybe giving you some ideas for a Raspberry Pi robot. We love to hear how you use the kit, so please share your projects with us on our forum. Thanks for watching.